Hey friends and everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we're going to look at how we can access device camera in our Blazor hybrid application. So I have Blazor hybrid app project created. And you know, when you go to your program.cs file, we have service which is add Mavi Blazor web view, which gives you the access to use your Blazor um, component in your um, mobile app. Okay. Now, how do we do this? You know, when working with Mari, it's quite simple. But, you know, with Blazor Hybrid app, you need to install a package and you need to create a service to handle that. So, let's first look at how are we going to work with this. We first need to install this um, package from Mari. So, let's get to NuGet package. And now we need a package of microsoft.mari.essentials so this gives us access to a lot of um, services or apis that we can access in application that is a, a blazer hybrid app and also a mari application so make sure you have this microsoft.mari essential app um, installed so that is just one i've already installed that so that's a microsoft.mari.essentials good so after you have this package installed the next thing that we're going to be doing here is to create a service. So let's go in and create a service to handle this camera. And we're going to name this as camera service. So now in our camera service that we have created, which is a class, we're going to return a file results because as soon as we get an image captured or we select an image from our phone or our tablet, we need to um, read it. So let's use the package that we installed. We have a lot of APIs in it and let's use one of them to get this photo. So you see from here we can select a lot we have capture um photo async aside from that um we can also have another api from this not only capture you can see from default we have pick video async uh, pick photo async and our capture photo async now this will give you access to the camera so it will open the camera and you can um, capture an image in that. So if you want to do that, you can use this. Or if you want to pick a photo too, you can also use this. So let's choose one. Here, we assume we have the image um, um, uh, um, captured already. And you want to select it and I'll return. Okay. So that is this line of code is going to get us access to this. If you want to use the camera, use the camera then capture photo sync and it's going to open your camera for you to snap an image all right so now that we have this let's go to we have this service let's go and use this now we first need to register this so let's go to our program.cs and register that in here So we have this added as scope. Now let's go to our component. And here in our home component, we can inject this service. So now that we have this um, UI, let's go and create an event. Uh, which will be called as soon as we call this. So as you have in here, you can see you're having this method which is wired up to the button right there. As soon as we click on it, we call in this service uh, which will capture a photo. So you can see from this API, we could um, select a photo, we could capture one by opening a camera and so forth. It could be photo, it could be video. 
any of them by using this package that we install you can do that okay now that we are done with this we need to get permission if you're using an android you need to get a permission if you're having um ios you need to also get permission so in order to get this permission let's go to the platform then under android right click on android manifest open with then choose xml editor so we can have it in this format so down here we need to have access to um, camera and also we need to get permission for um, external storage so we need to add so add these two lines of code um, to make this work as permission now if you're using an android or um, ios 2 um, we can also have the same thing um, over there so go to your ios and our info.plist we can also right click on that open wait then same xml editor and down here let's also add this line so uh, we need access to your camera to take photos right then we can do that so this is what you need to do now that we are done with this i'm using a desktop now so i'm not having camera here so let's see let's try that with windows machine first and let's see how it's going to work you know in an api we choose um pick photo async so you can use capture which is going to open camera so we choose this now let's check it out all right so you can see this is ready this is our um window application or desktop app now we have take photo if i click on this it means um um and as well should be open that is we must have um a way that we can select an image isn't it now let's see so i click on this and yes i can now go ahead and choose an image here you see that now well if i choose this image nothing going to happen because we are not handling this image if i do that we can get it check it from here we can put a breakpoint from a home component then here we have our photo so let's see if i put breakpoint here and there let's go and do it again so i click on this and i can see it is hit and i choose this again now this is hit if i click on this you see i have this file result which contains the image here the same thing applies to when using camera you can also access the camera and now take picture and it's going to be uploaded and you're going to have it right there all right so let's see this working in um windows or desktop app let's check it with our emulator as well and that is this one so let's run it and see so now that we have our android app also open if i click on take photo i think uh, it should give me the access to it uh, let's see yeah so you can see that here we have here yeah, and allow you to select and you can see we have no photo so it tells you that android 2 is giving me the access and and to the storage that i can select photo in case i use capture then camera will be opening which is not supported and uh, emulator all right so you've seen the way to integrate camera service in our blazer hybrid application so now it should not be uh, you should not have an issue with integrating the camera it should be easy as you watch this video all right stay tuned for more and also make sure you subscribe to um, this channel because i would be posting a lot of blazer hybrid content in here until then take care and see you again